probably move to uh, uh, Tajikistan as being the second country uh, uh, in its strategy of approaching the Eurasian Economic Union, with uh, Sauda Podemova representing the sharp analytical center based in Dushanbe, for those of you uh, uh, who don't know the, the center, the uh, sharp analytical center is the main sociological center working in, in uh, uh, Tajikistan now. Thank you. Um, uh, the Republic of Tajikistan is a small open economy, and uh, Tajikistan maintains an open door policy and supports a variety of integration projects from the WTO and CSO to the new Silk Road uh, by USA and uh, Chinese uh, Silk Belt. Uh, after the secession of Eurasia in October 2014, and formation of the Eurasian Economic Union, President Rahman declared a need to study an economic base and legal documents of the new Union for possibility of joining. In order to make a comprehensive study of possible uh, positive and negative aspects of joining the EU, as well as uh, estimating the costs, the government of Tajikistan formed six working groups out of representatives from government, business, and science. These groups are working under the Ministry of Economy and Development of Tajikistan. At the same time, there are discussions about prospects, pros, and cons of joining the EU in the country. I will present to you a summary of these discussions. Uh, I would like to say a few words about characteristics of the Tajik economy. Why join the EU? Tajikistan is an agrarian industrial economy with a very low level of investment, uh, particular foreign direct uh, investment. Despite this, since 1998, Tajikistan has seen economic growth, which for 10 years ranged from 8 to 10 percent of GDP. In, uh, in 2004, uh, GDP growth was 6.7. Uh, hence, in 2004, Tajikistan moved from group of low-income countries into the group of low-middle-income countries. The basis for economic growth in Tajikistan is export of goods, mainly aluminium and cotton, and growing domestic demand primarily is private consumption. Private consumption is driven by migrant remittances from abroad, we are primarily from Russia. A large proportion of private consumption is imported goods, including food. Remittances stimulate the consuming market, construction, and services. Tajikistan's economy is extremely, uh, extremely dependent on external factors. You can see on this uh, slide. Size of remittances from abroad is almost 50% uh, of GDP, mm. and last uh, year, the same. Over 10% of budget revenue is made up of loans and grants from international organizations and foreign governments. Sources of funding are IMF, FBRD, DB, the World Bank, ADB, European Union, OPEC Fund, and others. 77% of all obligations on bilateral loans are from China. And uh, the external debt to GDP ratio fell to 22.5% in last year. It's not very much. Uh, the, main, the main trading partner is Russia. Uh, almost 30% of foreign trade turned over in last year. Uh, and uh, next, followed by China, Kazakhstan, and Turkey. Labor migration in Russia is a basis uh, of Tajikistan economy and the main source of integration in the EU. The main driving force of growth in Tajikistan is labor export. The population of Tajikistan is rapidly growing. Every year, 150,000 people enter the labor market. At the same time, the job growth rate cannot keep up with it. 
the labor migration has been the most important element during the period of, of economic and political uh, transition in Tajikistan. According to a survey of World Bank in August uh, last year, 36% of households in Tajikistan had a, uh, at least one migrant in Russia. Uh, and uh, this is time of uh, growing uh, slow down in Russia. As a result, development of national state as well as political and economic reform was implemented in the context of growing labor migration to Russia. Labor migration became a structural feature and the basis for economic growth in Tajikistan. In 2000, migrants transferred uh, $4 billion. It's almost 50% of GDP. Uh, labor migration in Russia plays a key role in re reduction of poverty, achieving social uh, security, and ensuring development of Tajikistan. You can see depend of uh, GDP uh, from remittances in this slide. Without words. Uh, benefits from integration. What can Tajikistan get from the integration into the uh, EU? The main benefit from the integration of Tajikistan into EU is a single labor market. After joining, the Tajik migrants will be able to work in Russia without any currently implemented formal restriction and, and additional payments. They will also enjoy the same social rights as a citizens of Russia. At the same time, we must bear in mind that a significant part of Tajik migrants work in a vast informal labor market of Russia. Therefore, the scale of informal employment of Tajik migrants in Russia is unlikely to decrease greatly. It can be anticipated that an influx of labor from Tajikistan to Russia after joining may increase by 50-20% maybe. As for remittances, it's difficult to predict their dynamics because of the current uncertainty in Russia. In any case, the integration of Tajikistan into the EU will uh, ease tension on the labor market of Tajikistan and will also support the well-being of Tajik household. Second, Tajik economists and businessmen hope the investments from the EU countries. There are large-scale investment projects of major Russian and foreign companies in hydropower. In Tajikistan, there is a hope for support of Rangun hydropower plant by EU. But so far, this issue has not been resolved. But we hope maybe it will be next, next time. Expectation of the investments from the EEU are also associated with the project of growth in remittances and investments from the Tajik diaspora. It's presumed that remittances can be a driving source of development of small and medium-sized businesses, particularly in agribusiness. Thus, revival of domestic production. EU is a huge market uh, in which Tajik products such as food, vegetables, cotton, textiles, energy, non ferrous rare and precious metals will be in demand. And fourth, a significant advantage for Tajikistan will be a lower price of imported hydrocarbons. And fifth, there are also non-economic benefits from joining the EU. Firstly, security on the southern borders of Tajikistan with Afghanistan. Neutralization of a negative influence of the Afghan factor, as well as combating international terrorism disease. Secondly, joining the EU will dramatically reduce drug trafficking, which will improve safety, quality of governance, and development of Tajikistan as well. Finally, it will be possible to balance between the EU and China in order to avoid a total absorp uh, absorption by China. Under certain conditions, Tajikistan may become a better rate to a huge EU market for goods from China, India, Pakistan, and Iran. In increasing import, 
searches will not be critical due to proximity of the, of the touches average customs tariff and the one of EU. It will only apply to goods imported for sale without affecting goods in transit. Losses from integration. A major concern uh, in estimating effect of uh, accession to the EU is the problem of matching rates. The tariff schedule of Tajikistan is significantly more uniform compared to the customs tariff of the EU. An average tariff of Tajikistan taking into account commitments to the uh, WTO was 8.31. Uh, at the end uh, of so, uh, 2003 year, which is slightly below an average EU tariff, which equals to 9.4%. In addition, there are differences in approach to non-tariff regulation. It's, uh, it is safe to predict that the import will be more expensive from non-EU member countries, primarily China, Iran, and Turkey. Overall prospects for development of trade and economic cooperation in the thousand direction may deteriorate. Tajikistan may also lose some custom duties, which will lead to a smaller state budget and possible issues in meeting social obligations of the state. Shifting the EEU's custom border on the border of Tajikistan will also reduce smuggling from China, Pakistan, and Iran. Cheap goods that fill domestic markets and maintain welfare, welfare of the poorest people of Tajikistan will disappear. Probably the volume of re-export of Chinese goods will decrease, which in turn will have a negative impact on small medium enterprises and small scale trade. Reorientation to the north may also obstruct technological development in the field of small and medium enterprises. There are also fears of non-economic nature. Integration into the EU can put Tajikistan before a difficult strategic choice that will limit uh, maneuverability of its foreign policy. This is dangerous because leadership of Tajikistan demonstrates unwillingness to follow Russia in the confrontation with the West. Barriers uh, to integration with the EU. The main obstacle to integration uh, is a lack of necessary transport and market infrastructure linking Tajikistan with countries of the EU. About 19% uh, of the total turnover of Tajikistan is made rail railway which passes through Uzbekistan. High price of transit through Uzbekistan demolishes <coughs> benefits from foreign trade. Solution to reduce transport costs can be A, implementation of construction projects of regional railways, China, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Afghanistan, first, and second, second project, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Russia. B, use of regional highway in Dushanbe, Kyrgyzstan. In this case, there is a need uh, to establish logistic centers on the road. Currently, the volume of foreign trade passing so the common border with the Kyrgyz Republic is extremely low. The real uh, potential of integration between Tajikistan and the EU, excluding labor export, remains so big. Tajikistan experiences the most intensive trade development with Central Asia countries, uh, Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan. High intensity of the trade with Kyrgyzstan may decrease after creation of the common custom border uh, within the EU, because it's largely maintained by re-export of Chinese goods. Integration of Tajikistan into the EU may also be slowed down by the looming recession in Russia. It can lead uh, to a reduced uh, demand for Tajik goods and services, as well as a smaller demand for labor from Tajikistan and, uh, and a consequent decline in uh, remittances from migrant workers. <coughs> At this moment, the crisis in Russia began having a negative impact on the economy of the Tajikistan. The slowdown in Russia is forcing its partner, including Tajikistan, to approach the West 
which in turn significantly increases the support programs in Central Asia, including provision of financial and investment resources, realization of a scenario with orientation towards the West or China may increase the Kyrgyzstan dependence on them, narrowing the role and importance of integration with the EU. Opinion of the opinion of the Tajikistan population for integration with the EU groups for and against. In general, uh, we conduct two uh, public survey. Uh, last year, in this year, in February, ten years ago, uh, for the story, ten days ago, <laughs> we finished our survey, and uh, we asked about the uh, future of integration to the EU. In uh, last year, 42 percent approved of joining the customs union, 12 percent did know now, and only five percent opposed. In February uh, this year. After events in Ukraine, we conducted a survey uh, in young people, only 14 and uh, from 14 to uh, 29 years. And 72% uh, of respondents were in favor of joining the EU, 11% against, and 17% uh, were undecided. Interviews with officials businessmen, academics, and migrants showed that the most consistent advocates for integration in the EU are migrants as well as businessmen of different levels, especially manufacturers and farmers. Those who are against uh, are representative of the ruling elites and uh, big business, which uh, business of uh, ruling family. Uh, they are afraid to give up some of their power to uh, multinational bodies and big business of EU countries. Also, bankers uh, who will uh, lose uh, mm, access, uh, access to credit resources. And, uh, and uh, nationalist intellectuals have a negative attitude towards integration. What people of Tajikistan expect from joining the EU can be found from responses of young people. 24% of uh, respondents expect uh, barriers to labor migration to be eliminated. 20% revival of trade due to removal of custom barriers. 9% various kinds of subsidies. 25% or all the above and 22% were undecided. Conclusion. In the West, majority of the population of Tajikistan supports joining the EU. The key reason is hope for renewal of barriers and restrictions for Tajik labor migrants in Russia. This will provide employment and income for a rapidly growing army of workers in Tajikistan. Nevertheless, the Tajik government is aware that integration with the EU is a very difficult process and that the entry price is high while benefits are questionable. Those now we can observe a waiting period, time of estimations and negotiations. Thank you.